totally took me by surprise. I went to the thrift store with one plan and I left with a totally different plan. We are gonna turn maxi skirts into slouchy, cozy pants and dresses into jumpsuits. I'm very excited. This is super easy, super simple and highly satisfying. Um, it started when I went to the thrift store and I found this skirt. It's like a drawstring cotton billabong skirt. And I was like, as a skirt, I would never wear this. It's like, I don't know, it's not very me, but I thought, as like a slouchy kind of drop crotch pant with like a black crop tank top and some sneakers. Yeah, I would. And that's what gave me the idea. So it started with this. Then I found this kind of like boho dress that I thought would make for a really cute like summer jumpsuit. This is totally custom. You can make it super drop crotch, more fitted. You can make it wide leg, bell bottom, tapered leg. However you wanna do it based off your own body, you're gonna be able to do it. If this is your first video, this is like the perfect introduction to the DIY designer. Uh, my name is Orly. And basically I'm all about giving you tips and tricks and tools and hacks so that you can customize your own wardrobe. You can make sure that it celebrates your body in a way that makes you feel really good, that it embraces your unique style, that it speaks your unique style language, so that really all of your clothes are feeling like they were tailor-made for you. Obviously that costs a lot of money, so DIY is a really perfect way to do that. Now, in every episode I try to use the project that I'm making to teach you a new technique or a new tool that you can then apply to your own style. So it's not about recreating the items that I'm making as much as it's about absorbing the technique and sort of like parking it in the back of your brain for a project that might be specific to you down the road. So I hope that this gives you lots of inspiration. Okay, let's get into it. First up, we're gonna do this dress. It's a cute dress, I thrifted it, but it's just not very me. I think a jumpsuit is gonna be something I'll get a lot more use out of. So the first thing you're gonna do with all of them is flip them inside out. This means that once you cut it, you're basically ready to pin because your fabric is already face to face. So you're gonna start by making sure that all your side seams are even and then grab the center of the waistband and the center of the hem and fold it in half. You wanna make sure that the fold is center front and center back because obviously that's where the leg opening would be. The sides, which are folded, is where your side seams are gonna be. Now, I switch sides because I'm right-handed and I'm gonna do like a tiny U, like a super shallow U. You can see you start in going kinda straight and then instantly turn. If I were to move my scissors further to the right, the leg would get much more tapered. If I were to move them to the left, the leg would get a little bit more wide leg. This decision is gonna be made based off your own style, the, you know, the item that you're working with, how much leg room there is, and that's it. Now, open it up and voila, we have a jumpsuit. That's basically it. Now, one thing I'll say is this was the first one I did and I sort of forgot that you like to have the front rise to be shorter than the back rise. That's what's gonna give you a more natural fit because obviously the back rise wraps all the way around your booty and underneath the middle of your leg, right? So I didn't do that on this one, but you'll see I correct it on the next one. So for right now, all I'm doing is pinning it. You can see I pinned everything so it will be even and we'll sew in a minute. Let's move on to the next item. This is that billabong skirt. Super cute drawstring. Again, I would never wear it like this, but as pants, I think so. So I'm gonna flip the skirt inside out and you can see it actually had like a little slip. So I'm cutting out the slip. It's not necessary. I don't need it. Get rid of it. Now, I'm gonna make sure that everything is even, that the drawstring in the front is centered, that my side seams are lined up so that I can fold it in half. Here is the trick to making sure that the front rise is shorter than the back rise. You're gonna kind of grab it like this so that it's offset, kind of hang it down, then fold it in half so that when you are cutting it, you are automatically cutting the front rise shorter than the back because we sort of, uh, we cheated it a little bit, right? You pull that back waistband up, which is gonna naturally make it longer, and you pull the front one down a little bit, which is gonna naturally make it shorter. Now, I can cut the whole thing at once and it's automatically gonna do it. A couple ways I can cut it. Number one is like this, which gives me a wide leg. Number two is like this, which gives me more of like a harem pant style. I want the wide leg. I think that's gonna be super cute. So I'm coming in again about an inch and a half and then I'm just gonna go back the way it came, making sure that I'm giving myself a nice wide leg. And you can see when I open it, boom. I mean, I'm sorry, but those are, are perfect. Wait till you see them on. They're like so zhuzhi zhuzhi. So now I'm gonna pin everything. Again, it's already face to face, so very simple. I'm gonna pin it and then all we have to do is sew that all the way up and around. The last one, this skirt was kind of like a super stretchy, ribbed, like clingy type of skirt, really weighted. So what I'm gonna do is make it kind of a bell bottom because the bottom shape of the skirt lends itself to that. Folding it in half and cutting. You can see I'm gonna go in just a scotch, instantly turn my scissors, and I'm gonna follow the natural shape of the skirt. I'm gonna follow actually the detail, this stitching detail, so that it all lines up and looks very intentional. 
Now, when I opened this, one of the things is this was actually too big on me. So I knew I was gonna take in the waistband. This is where I decided to take it in though. By doing it here, I'm gonna be able to adjust the fit of the center front a little bit better. When you're doing something baggy, the kind of U-shape harem is really good. If you're doing something more fitted, you might wanna do this because that's the way that like traditional pants are actually sewn. They have that center front seam. So I'm gonna pin it all together, front and back, and then I'm gonna be able to take out any volume in the waist that was too big in this location. Now we're gonna sew everything. Let's start with the jumpsuit. I'm starting at the hem of one leg. I'm doing a straight stitch, a loose stitch in white thread. And that's because if I realize it needs to be tweaked, I can just yank that out. If it turns out to be good, I can reinforce it with a dark thread and a much smaller stitch. One big loop all the way around and that guy is done. Same thing for these pants. Start at the hem, go up through the crotch, come back down, flip them inside out, try them on. If they're good to go, you can reinforce it. Now let's move on to this guy. This one is where I need to do, I'm taking in the center front and center back. I decided to take in about an inch and a half out of both. So I'm gonna double back. Again, I'm using a white thread and a loose stitch. That way if I need to make adjustments, I can. Straight down, straight down to the crotch. You're gonna do the same thing for the other side, straight down to the crotch. And now in order to see if the fit is right, we're gonna do this center seam. This is what we did for all of the other ones. You're gonna pin them together. You would stitch this all the way around. If you need to make any adjustments, you can open it up, take a little more in the waist, restitch it. This is where you'll finagle it based off size, but that's it. 